It's Wax Ed again. Video time once more. Um, today I want to cover 16 levels of pitch and also universal partial editing. Um, now that is in relation to 16 levels of pitch, which I'll get into later. You don't have to worry about that right now. You understand? A little later on um, in the video about the uh, universal partial editor. Um, real quick, the MPC had the um, 16 levels uh, button. You hit it, and if you want to do a baseline real quick, or you just want a 16 levels of pitch of whatever, you had it at the you know touch of a button. Um, MV does not have that. And a lot of people didn't like that fact, even though there are several ways to work around that issue. It still isn't the same as hitting uh, one button and doing what you have to do. Now, as Roland taketh away, Roland also giveth. There is a little bonus in doing the 16 levels the way I do it which if you set up properly can um, make for a nice, easy workflow and some bonus things that you can get out of this technique. Um, there's probably people who know about this technique. Um, this one slipped by me. I mean, this one totally caught me by surprise. Um, this would be great for people who've been around and don't know about it had the MB for a minute, uh, especially for new people uh, wanting to do the 16 levels and missing that. Um, after I kind of discovered it, I went back and searched for it in a manual and it is there, but it is not obvious at all, especially if you're reading the manual for the first time. You know, it's real easy to slip even the second time unless you know what you're looking for. Um, So, like I said, I hope this will help some people because uh, the bonus you get out of this is kind of dynamite, you know. So that being that, I'm going to jump right into this. Um, Say you want to do 16 levels of a bass. Um, you grab your bass sample. I'm going to pull one up out of my sample manager. Bam, right there. I'm going to quick assign it to a patch what we got there I'm going to stick it on C2 the heck of it bam right there that's out the way there you go that's my bass sound right there um oh real quick there's two divergent paths here um now if you come from the MPC, you remember the 16 levels. The default was this bottom right hand pad here, uh, C1. Um, if you kind of like remembered, if you remembered, uh, you kind of remembered how, uh, you remember your scales working from this pad here, which would give you like a C1, D1, E1. F1, G1, A1, B1, B2. If you remember your scale patterns, working off of that fourth, the bottom pad, um, this first way is for you. Um, but later on, you'll see that it's, it's really not necessary. Um, like I said, that's your major scale that I just told you there. Work from this pad. A lot of people, when they had the MPCs, they would um, they put their sample on, and then they would tune their sample, they tune their bass sound, to their sample to get the key and then they would um, do the 16 level and their root would be where the C1 is and they would work either major minor scale or whatever scale they're going to work in there for the bass and it all be from that C1 pad um, so this first way I'm, I'm going to set it up I'm going to show you how to do it as if it if you were working with your root from your C1 pad so there's my bass sound. Um, I'm gonna quick edit real quick. All right, you hear that? 
to get that root, I'm going to coarse tune it, minus 4. And then I'm done. X out of there. You see where the split is, where my cursor is in the patch edit screen? I'm going to hit that. And then... All right, I'm going to make sure I'm on that C2 pad up here, 116. And then I'm going to go to 2, 1. I'm going to do my 16 levels from bank 2, 1 to 216. I'm going to hit my set chroma button. And from there, my root is, there you go, the bottom pad, making my major scale. That's really all you have to remember is that minus four when you're setting it up um, in, in your course tune will give you your root on that pad number four. Whatever your root is, it'll be on, on that four. Um, now that is the first way. You see, see how easy that was to set up to, by the way? I mean, it's not as quick as one button, but once you get used to doing this it's it's real quick now the bonus from this is the bonus is that for whatever reason well it's it's kind of in the manual but it's not clear but what happens is now i got these 16 levels of bass here when you go to hit quick edit everything's universal at this point if i go to sample edit if I move this this end point all the way up here, here, here cutting off, any pad I hit is cut off at the same exact spot. Doesn't matter where. It's it's like a universal patch editor at at, at this point. Um, let me see. If if I go to my LFO, I mean my filter, and put it low pass, cut that down. No matter what pad I hit, it's now affected. It affects everything. Um, I mean, I changed the attack. Everything, like I said, everything is affected. Now, you go to course tune. Well, well here. <laughs> Like I said, there were two diversion paths. Here, while setting it up the way the MPC is set up, uh, where you tune your bass sound to your sample, and then do um, your 16 levels. Here is why it doesn't matter. Because if you change your course tune, patch changes at that point um and how that can be kind of uh interesting is uh let me show you if if you do a um if if, if you do a song or whatever and you have a pattern and you, you don't have to match your pattern your bass pattern to your sample you you can just bang out a bass pattern even if it's out of key bass guitar you know bass keyboard pattern even if it's out of key once it's set up like this and you can find the key and i'll show you how i got a little uh bass pattern here and what you would do you would go to that pad bank and you hit quick edit that, that's the wrong key for the sample. I gotta go up a uh, step and a half. You see what I'm saying? Just by turning the course tune, once you have um, once you have that patch sequenced in, it's, it's on the fly now. You change the course tune, and the whole your whole sequence changes. You following me here? So, so 
basically, once you sequence with that patch, if you want to find a key, all you do is you change your course tune while it's running. And the, and the, and the whole patch will change key. And you can transpose to find the, um, the key that your sample's in or, or the key to your song or whatever you're doing. And that, that's kind of a bonus feature here. It makes it real easy to, um, to match keys. Now, now how, how I, I would actually set this up. Oh, there's one other thing. For some reason, and I don't, maybe somebody could figure this out. I'm a little too tired right now to, uh, and I've been going over this for a minute, so my, my brain is kind of fried. But for some reason, the, um, when you do that minus four trick to get the original key on this bottom right hand pad, it only lines up in bank one, bank two, and bank five. For whatever reason, bank three, four, and six, when you do the minus four, it, it ends up somewhere else. I can't figure it out. And there's probably something simple. Somebody maybe could, if somebody could check behind me and just, uh, you know, I might just be slipping cause I'm tired or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's why I only do that. Uh, if you're going to do the minus four thing on one, two or bank five, cause like I said, uh, three bank, three, four and six send that original. When you do minus four, it sends the original, um, key original pitch somewhere else um like i said it, it could be me i, I could have slipped on that one and just didn't hit something or, or whatever so don't quote me on that but for right now <laughs> until i come back and um and like you know go over my work one more time one two and five three four and six no good for right now i think now, if somebody wants to check behind me, like I said, please do. Um, but the way I would set this up, I would um, I would have like one shot of, of all kind of different bases. Um, on the first, let's say I had like forty eight of them, not even that many, like sixty four of them on the first four banks. One, two, three, four, or you or if you're slamming this bass sounds or whatever, just one note all kind of different bases. And at that point, you can grab any any one of those and then slap it right on bank five. You know, do the do the um copy it to a clipboard, put it in on um, bank six, which will be empty, and then just just go ahead from there and do the uh do the edit thing. Um the reason you want to copy it to a clipboard first is because it erases when when you do the set chroma uh, somewhere else it's going to erase that original um original note so you want to copy to a clipboard first put it in an empty bank which would be bank six that's the way i would set it up like i said your first 64 slamming sounds in the first four banks uh copy one of those to a clipboard slap it in bank six and then do the edit thing and then do your 16 levels and um and bank five and then you can, and then from there, you can, like I said, you can bang out a bass line. It don't matter what key it's in, because you could do the other trick with the with the course tune, and you can get the key. You, you can line the key right up. So, um, let me see, what else did I kind of come across? Uh, I mean, I hope I hope you guys can follow this because I'm kind of all over the place, a little tired, and um, I'm kind of just uh hashing this thing out um let me see. i mean it, it works with little loops too yeah it'll work, it'll work with little drum loops and everything um you know like i said every, everything that you do I mean everything that you do to it inside the uh, partial edit affects the whole patch let's see
Yeah, it's like whatever. Um, like I said, a sign type, one shot. I mean, everything, the LFO, the amplifier, the filter, everything. Everything inside that partial edit is will now affect everything that you put into that uh that 16 level. So um with that, I hope you guys can follow that. Um I don't think I'm leaving anything out. Um yeah, any any questions or whatnot, hit me up. Um I think that's a great way of doing the 16 level thing, especially if you're trying to uh if you're trying to like do bass lines and stuff and um get them in the right key. Bass patterns or whatever at that. I mean, it's a tremendous help. Like I said, and um I hope this helps somebody. Uh but for right now, I think I think I'm ended. Um peace to all the uh, MV users out there, peace to the nation. I'm waxed that and uh I'll holler at y'all later.